I want to show you a little stuff about a simple tape measure. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is it has a wiggly end. Well, that wiggly end is very important because it allows you to measure against something like that, where, there's, where you can push the end up against something. It also allows you to hook the end on something and get exactly the same measure, and that's accomplished by this little bit of movement that's in it. Now, another thing I want to show you, of course, a tape measure, you can measure very, very, very long things with it. So it has that advantage over a steel ruler. It's also uh, useful when it comes to increasing your accuracy to measure more than one thing at once. So, for example, here I have this block and I'm checking it and it appears to be about a half inch thick. But if I take three of them and put them together, that difference is increased and it becomes even more obvious that this is actually a little bit less than a half inch thick. Same thing would apply this way. I can measure here and it's two and three sixteenths inches. But if I were to measure just a single one, I come up with a little less than three quarters. So anyway, uh, very useful. If I want to cut something to a specific dimension on the table saw sled, I could take my sled, move it forward, and measure between the stop block that I'm setting at five and a half inches and the blade. Now, if it's a brand new sled, often this cut will be so sharp and, and freshly cut that you can measure from that cut to the stop block. But after a while, it gets worn, and then you become dependent on measuring to the blade. If I want to set up a stop block for a miter cut, Miter cuts are a little harder to measure, so I use a slightly different technique with the table saw. With the first miter cut, I can take the tape measure and I hook it on the end. And then I can measure over here. Say I want to make this seven inches. I mark that at seven inches. And I bring that over to where the table saw blade will cut, and then I put the stop block on. If I simply tried to measure someplace in there, I don't know whether to measure down there or measure up there, where, you know, there's no real clear point. But by making a mark first on a piece of wood and then using it to set up the stop block, I can make an accurate cut. Now, if I'm concerned with it being absolutely exact, I'll show you how I can fine tune my cut. So this is seven and about a 64th. So if I bring this over very slightly, bring it up against the stop block, and then make a small, tiny little opening right there, and then move my stop block over that amount. It's hard if you don't have a point of reference to set up for a second cut, but if you have, uh, a, have this held down and in position and use it as you guide your stop block into place and reclamp it, you can get it to where it is absolutely exact. <laughs> And I can check my work, and I'm pleased.